Hey guys, it's been a while, but I'm finally back with some code. I've got an update on the nonplanar interlocking layer script for you. It's not much, because I've been busy with other projects. A quick recap. The script I created a while ago deforms the layer lines in a nonplanar way on both the walls and the infill. You can enable a setting so that they overlap on the walls. This should hopefully result in a better shear strength. I have the feeling that we might get some results on this very soon, as Stefan from CNC Kitchen kind of teased it in his newest video. It all works in Prusa Slicer, Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio. Alright, so what's new? The last version of the script was only able to deform the layers on a sine wave. Now you are able to choose between four different periodic functions. We have sine wave, triangular wave, trapezoidal wave and sawtooth. You can manipulate the settings of them the same way as you could in the last version of the script. But there is another new setting, you can now set the resolution. It basically controls the size of the segments which get created per toolpath. If you use a lower number, your sine wave will get curvier, if you use a higher number, it will get edgier. Let's have a quick look at the new parameters. Minus infill function and minus wall function, followed by one of the functions to set the pattern. It is set to sign by default. Minus resolution, followed by a number to set the resolution of the segments in millimeter. It is 0.2 by default. Now just to mention it, an airbrush nozzle like this one would heavily benefit the quality of your prints with this script, as it doesn't scrape the other layers that much. Unfortunately, that's already all the news I've got for you today. I won't go over the installation process in this video, you can watch the second half of the linked video if you need a guide. The link to the script is also in the description. Let me know what other functions this script needs. Now I'm gonna pull the standard YouTuber move for the first time. Only about 8% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so if you want to support me, please consider doing that and leaving a like and a comment would help too. Now as always, have fun with the script and happy printing!